generation, this day and age, to read it. I'm really getting sick of this. I want some of that meal, and I want it now. Okay? Here, take this. This is junk mail. About um, showbiz kids. It's hard, man. When Family Matters debuted on ABC in 1989 as part of the network's Friday night TGIF lineup, it was a show much different from the one it would become. As a spin-off of the popular series Perfect Strangers, Family Matters stood out from most other sitcoms of the day by focusing on an all-black cast. These characters didn't fall into 80s stereotypes, but were well-thought-out people. Allow me to run back in time. It's a rare condition this day and age to read it. That theme song brings back memories, right? But as it turns out behind the camera, ugly things happen, and now everything is coming out thick and fast. I'm really getting sick of this. I want some of that meal, and I want it now. Okay? Here, take this. This is junk mail. Those who were lucky to watch the show surely must remember Jamie Foxworth, who played Judy Winslow. After years in the dark, the veteran actress has now come out gun blazing, revealing ugly dark secrets about the famed show. Hear what a former cast member had to say here. You know how I feel about um, showbiz kids. It's hard, man. In the show, there was Carl Winslow, played by Reginald Bell Johnson, a lovable Chicago cop, and his wife Harriet, played by Joe Marie Payton. With them lived Harriet's widowed sister, Rachel, played by Telma Hopkins, and her young son, Richie, cast by Britton James, as well as Carl's elderly mother, Estelle, real name Rosetta Lenoir. <laughs> At the forefront were Winslow's three children, teenagers Eddie, played by Darius McCrary, and Laura, played by Kelly Shanine Williams, and their youngest, Judy, played by Jamie Foxworth. For four popular seasons, these characters fought in the most wholesome of ways, only to make up at the end of each episode in typical sitcom fashion. But then, for the strangest of reasons, Judy disappeared from the series. Her character wasn't killed off or recast. Judy Winslow was suddenly just gone as if she had never existed and would never be mentioned again. The decision left fans and members of the cast furious. That subject of Judy, Jamie Foxworth and all. Don't think for a minute that we did not go in. I was, we were together. I was personally very hurt by that. Judy's character was just nine years old when Family Matters first started. She didn't usually get as much storyline time as the other characters in the Winslow family. But she was far from a background character. She was portrayed as your typical child. She loved to play with dolls. She struggled with school. She loved her big sister, even if they fought. And later on, she found a close friend and play buddy in her cousin, Richie. Sometimes, being the youngest child, Judy didn't receive as much attention from her busy parents. She might act out a time or two, but in the end, Carl and Harriet were there for her and loved her. At the time, Jamie's mother felt that her character was being underserviced. And, you know, um, the, the producers took it as a slap in the face, and unfortunately... A close friend and fellow cast member of Jamie E., Darius McCrary, recently came out to reveal some shocking details about the sitcom. Eddie says he was the victim of sexual misconduct when he was a child actor in Hollywood. No, no, no. I mean, Darius says he was the victim of sexual misconduct when he was a child actor in Hollywood, okay? Darius, most known for his role as Eddie Winslow on Family Matters, said he was inappropriately touched as a young man by an unnamed Hollywood executive. Though he didn't elaborate on the allegation further while speaking with one of TMZ's lemmings in Beverly Hills, he did express his thoughts on the sexual assault claim against friend and comedian Charlie Sheen. When I said that statement, I was defending a very good friend of mine who was under some serious fire and some allegations. All I can say is Charlie is one of the most magnificent and kind people that God ever created. And I can't see Charlie Sheen doing anything inappropriate, Darius said outside the Montage Hotel when asked about claims that Sheen, at age 19, had sexually assaulted the late Corey Haim when he was 13. Haim's mother has since rebuked the allegations, saying in an interview that her son was abused by someone else, not Sheen. People who are thirsty are always looking for a good drink, and from what I know, Charlie Sheen will quench your thirst, Darius said of the allegations. Drink that, McCrary continued with the thirsty line of thought, adding that he wouldn't be worried about the allegations. All, if you're in this business, we've all at some point been inappropriately touched. But I will say this though, he said, I was inappropriately touched by a Hollywood executive and I'm not gonna tell on nobody. This happened when I was a young man. Asked to elaborate, the actor declined. 
I'm not thirsty, he said, so I ain't got to tell my business. Darius hasn't spoken further on the alleged incident since the TMZ clip was published. I need another piece before I can really give you an honest answer. <laughs> Q3J. But as we've mentioned, in the first four seasons of Family Matters, the Winslows had three kids, Eddie, Laura, and little Judy, portrayed by Jamie Foxworth. Then the character disappeared, never seen or even mentioned again. But what really happened? Did the family feel she was unwanted? Was she lazy? Untalented, maybe? Nope. According to Foxworth, the show's creative team wrote off Judy because they didn't want her around. The producers felt that they could do it and no one would notice, the actress told The Root. They figured they could just throw me away, no explanation at all. Some of my cast members knew before I did. Her TV mom, Jo Marie Payton, tried to change producers' minds, but to no avail. This was the first and by no means the last tough break Foxworth experienced. This celebrity rehab, that's when I started weaning myself off of marijuana and drinking. But the sack may have come after she was abused by one of the show's producers. And when she threatened to speak out, they chose to intimidate her. Foxworth turned to music, joining her two older sisters in the R&B trio, She. The group released just one album, 1997's Three's a Charm, and fizzled out after a lack of success. Then at 19 and in need of money, Foxworth returned to acting in adult films. Under the name Crave, Foxworth appeared in such notable projects as Booty Talk 20 and My Baby Got Back 29. She later said on The Dr. Oz Show that she also got into porn as a form of rebellion against her very strict upbringing, but that she wasn't comfortable with just seeing myself in that light. She made her last dirty movie in 2002. As it turns out, all these were ways to channel out the pain of being sexually molested as a kid and then fired while working on the sitcom Family Matters. And I was like, if, if you just give me the healthiest son, I will stop today. And I stopped. And I haven't had a craving since. While she got herself out of the woods professionally, Foxworth still had some personal demons to slay long after Family Matters had come to an end. In the 2000s, she became heavily dependent on alcohol and marijuana while also struggling with some mental health issues. It got bad for me, she said on the Dr. Oz show. So for most people, drinking and smoking weed is really not that bad. But for me, I had a little bit of depression and I was basically keeping myself to myself. She got to the point where she was just hanging out by herself in her bedroom, getting high and almost always alone. When she realized she'd cut herself off from the world and didn't really have friends, she knew it was time to get some help. In 2008, she appeared on VH1 Celebrity Rehab with Dr. Drew, but still continued to smoke marijuana for a few months after that, quitting it for good when she learned she was pregnant. And like we mentioned, not only Foxworth left the show and faced it rough outside here. In 2014, her close friend and castmate Darius McCrary decided to marry Tammy Bronner of the Harlem Globetrotters. By 2017, that marriage was over, and it reportedly ended in a frightening way. According to E! News, Bronner received a restraining order against Darius after alleging multiple counts of abuse against her and their infant daughter. Bronner reported that Darius's excessive drinking and drug use made him violent and that he not only struck her, but held his daughter over a pot of boiling water while screaming about how he wished she'd never been born. Another time, Bronner says, the actor flew into a rage and threw picture frames around the house, just barely missing hitting anyone. Apparently, this isn't the first time Darius was accused of domestic abuse. His previous wife, Kareen Steffens, claimed he perpetuated multiple acts of violence against her. Darius was ordered to move out of the family home and stay 100 yards away from his wife and daughter. In response, Darius's attorney labeled Bronner a predator motivated by a desperate desire to extort money out of his client while trying to create an advantage in an impending divorce and custody battle. For his part, the actor posted a photo of himself and his daughter to Instagram, captioned, Yay right. Sad some people will do anything make hash TMZ. Hmm, I'm starting to think Family Matters really did harbor some demonic elements. Two weeks after a judge granted Tammy Bronner a restraining order against Darius McCrary, the actor got one against Bronner. According to TMZ, Darius claimed that Bronner had violent tendencies, alleging that she threw a hot iron at him, leaving a second-degree burn on his chest. Weeks after the courts ordered these two to avoid each other, Bronner filed for divorce. Citing irreconcilable differences in legal documents, which TMZ got a hold of, Bronner asked that Darius be blocked from seeing their daughter until he sought treatment for substance abuse and attended domestic abuse intervention sessions. And that's not the end for the Family Matters cast members. So I can even explain why Steve Urkel worked. Mm -hmm. I remember I watched Family Matters, just like you probably as a kid who got the TV guide and I mm -hmm. watched any. Abuse allegations 
also dogged Darius's Family Matters co-star Jaleel White. In 2012, Bridget Hardy, White's former girlfriend and the mother of his daughter, told Star that two years earlier, their relationship came undone after the former Steve Urkel turned violent. After finding evidence of infidelity on the actor's phone, Hardy says White blew up after she confronted him about it and then struck her across the chest area. It gets worse, Hardy reported, he pushed me into the toilet and it broke. Hardy got out of the house and took her daughter with her on a planned out-of-town trip. When they returned, White had changed the locks on the house and placed all her possessions in a storage facility. How has life as a father been? Woo, it just means I do more push-ups and uh, the midnight snacking just gets worse. <laughs> <laughs> when Hardy went public with her story, White waved away the allegations. When you're doing well in life, it's par for the course. Certain individuals will try and knock you down, he said in a statement. When the individual is also the mother of your only child, it is particularly hurtful. White further explained to people that Hardy made her comments when she did to get the upper hand in child custody negotiations. So yeah, the Family Matters show was messed up from the very beginning with sporadic cases of sexual harassment and it ruined close all those who participated in it. From Foxworth to Darius to White, do you think there is a chance all these former stars are making up their abuses as kids? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And that's it from us today until next time. Thank you for watching.